Okay, next in our study of statistics, we are going to be looking at what are called measures of spread. And measures of spread tell you how far apart the data is, where it's grouped, is it grouped on the low end, is it grouped on the high end, grouped in the middle, how far apart is everything. So measures of spread tell you how closely packed your data is. First thing we're going to look at is quartiles. And quartiles are values that divide the data set into four equal parts. Okay, so you need to write down the definition for quartiles. And you need to understand that each quartile has 25% of the data. Okay, each quartile has 25% of the data. And you're going to see uh, why we need that in just a little bit. Okay? So you, your first and third quartiles are the medians of the data values less than the median and the data values greater than the median. So the first quartile is the ones that are less than the median and the third quartile is the one that is greater than the median. And we also need to make sure we write that down. Okay, next definition we have is the interquartile range. The difference between the first quartile and the third quartile of a set of data. So it's the difference. Okay, difference means subtracting. So the interquartile range is quartile 3 or Q3 minus quartile 1 or as we call it Q1. And remember your quartiles, that's like, okay, one fourth of your day this year, one fourth is here, and one fourth is here. So your quartiles separate everything into quarters, hence the name quartile, okay? And your interquartile range is the difference between Q3 and Q1. Make sure you write down the definition and the equation. next definition here is the range. The range is used to describe how widely all the va data values vary. Okay, your range says here's the maximum, here's the minimum, that's the difference between them. So range is equal to maximum, which is your highest value. Okay, highest. So your highest value minus your minimum value and your minimum is the lowest. So you just take the biggest number and the smallest number and subtract them, and you've got your range. Okay, and then the last part here is outlier. Okay, an outlier is a data value that is distinctly separate from the rest of the data. He's going to be the odd one out. Okay, the weirdo of the set. And it says an outlier is any data value that is more more than one and a half interquartile ranges below the first quartile or above the third quartile. And we need to write this down because you will be asked if numbers are outliers. So in order to find out if it's an outlier, you have to find your IQR and then multiply that number by one and a half. If it is that num, so if you take Q1, your first quartile, and subtract one and a half times the interquartile range. If your number is lower than that, it's going to be an outlier. If you take 1.5 times the interquartile range and add it on to the third quartile, if your number is greater than that number, then it's going to be an outlier. And you'll see that when we do an example. Okay, here's our first example. Um, let me see. Uh, it says determine the measures of spread to summarize the data. And I'll go on ahead and write the numbers over here a little bit larger so you can see them. So we're looking at animals and their speeds. Cheetah is going to be 70 miles per hour. Lion is 50 miles per hour. A cat is 30. Elephant is 25. A mouse is eight, and then a spider is one. 
Okay, and we have to um, find the range, the quartiles, the inner quartile range, and any outliers. And it says the first thing we need to do is order the data values before you begin. We're always going from least to greatest. So let's start with this. Our smallest one is 1. And then we have 8. And then we got 25, 30, 50, and 70. Now, first thing we need to do is find the range. That's your largest number minus your smallest number. So our range is 70 minus 1. And 70 minus 1 is 69. So our range is going to be 69. Now the quartiles. Okay, quartiles are um, finding, again, where the quarters of the data are at. So first thing you have to find is the median. So we're going to look here. We got 1, 1. 1, 1, 25, and 30 here. Okay, we have two numbers in the middle, so what we have to do to find the median is add them together, divide by 2. So first thing whenever you're finding quartiles is find the median. Okay, 25 plus 30. Okay, 55, and now we do 55 divide by 2. 2 can go into 5 2 times, that's 4, 15, 2 can go into 15 7 times, that's 14, difference is 1, it's going to be a decimal here, 2 goes into 10 5 times. So our median is going to be 27 and a half. So I want you to mark that in the middle there, 27.5. Now to find your quartile, you're going to look at uh, your first quartile, you look at the numbers here that are on the left half of your median. So we have 25, 8, and 1. Of these three numbers, what's the median of that set? 8, because it's in the middle. There's three numbers, so one here and one there. The numbers that in the middle there is 8. So 8 is going to be Q1. Now we need to find Q3. So we look up here. Again, we have three numbers on this side, so the one in the middle is going to be 50. So 50 is going to be Q3. So we have our median, which was 27.5. You have to find your median in order to find your Q1 and Q3. Q1 was 8, and Q3 was 50. So that's how you find the quartiles. Now the interquartile range, that's Q3 minus Q1. So we have 50 minus 8. And 50 minus 8 is going to be 42. So our IQR, interquartile range, is going to be 42. And it's just you take Q3 and subtract off Q1. Now we need to see if there are any outliers, okay? And remember, your outliers, you take your interquartile range, multiply it by 1.5. So 42 times 1.5. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry your 1, 21. Put your 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. We'll add these. 0, 3, 6. So 63 is the range that we're going to be looking at here. So go to Q1. We'll do any low numbers first. So 8 minus 63. Okay, that's going to put us in the negative numbers, right? 63 minus 8 here. 55. That would be negative 55. Okay, none of our numbers are even below 1. So there's no lower outliers. Now we'll look at the upper outliers. So Q3 is 50. So you would take 50 and add on the 63 here. So if you're looking for the lower end, you take your Q1 and then you subtract off one and a half times the IQR. If you're looking for the upper outlier, you add on the uh, to Q3 
the upper number there. Okay, so 50 and 63, that's going to be 113. And again, our highest number is 70, so nothing's above 113, so there are no outliers. Okay, no outliers. And that's our first example. Now we'll do another one. Okay, the ages of candidates in an election are 23, 48, 49, 55, 57, 63, and 72. Okay, they've done us a favor. They've already put everything in order for us. So first, our range is going to be 72 minus 23. Largest number minus smallest number. So our range is 49. Okay, now the next one we're going to look at are the quartiles. Remember, first thing you have to find for your quartiles is your median. So put everything here in order, 23, 48, 49, 55, 57, 63, and 72. Step one, find your median. One here, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Our median is 55. Now, we are not going to include the median when we are looking for the quartiles. Okay, if your median is the number right in the middle, you don't include it. You pretend it's not there. So we'll just write down here, median 55. Now, we're going to look in this section to find Q1. There's three numbers, so the one in the very middle, that's going to be Q1. So 48, that's Q1. Now up here, we have these three numbers to look through for our third quartile. The one in the very middle is 63, so that is Q3. So you come over here, Q1 is 48, and Q3 is 63. And box those in. Now the interquartile range. Remember, interquartile range is going to be Q3 minus Q1. So we have 63 minus 48. To borrow, 13 minus 8 is going to be 5. 5 minus 4 is going to be 1. So IQR is 15. All right. And now we're going to look at the outliers. Remember, to find out if there are any outliers, you're going to take your IQR and multiply it by 1.5. So 15 times 1.5. 5 times 5, that's 25. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Put your zero, one times five is five, one times one is one. Five, 12, two. And then we have one number here. So um, finding outliers, we're looking at 22.5 above Q3 or 22.5 below 48. So we're gonna take 48 and subtract off 22.5. Okay, zero can't take away five, so we have to borrow. 10 minus five is going to be five. Bring down your decimal, seven minus two is going to be five. Four minus two is gonna be two. Okay, so now we're gonna see 25.5. Do we have any numbers below 25.5? Yep, 23. So 23 is an outlier. Okay, because you look at the interquartile range is 15. We multiplied it by 1.5 and we subtracted that number from Q1, which was 48. Told us 25.5. If there's anything under 25.5, that's going to be an outlier. 23 was under that, so 23 is an outlier. Now we'll look at the upper end and we will see if anything um, higher is going to be an outlier. So now we take Q3, so 63, and we are going to add on 15 
uh, I'm sorry, we're going to add on 22.5. Okay, 22.5. So 0 and 5, that's 0 0.5. 3 and 2 is 5. 6 and 2 is 8. 85.5. Do we have anything above 85.5? No. So we don't have any upper end outliers. So we only have 23. Okay, so only 23 is an outlier there. Looking at your data, the range of the people running for the office is 49. About 25% are 48 or below. About 25% are 63 and above. Between the two, there's a range of 15 years. That's what we get there. And 23, our youngest guy, he is the outlier. He's the furthest away from everybody else in age. All right, and last example here. Number of medals won by countries in the 2012 Summer Olympics. Okay, first step, put them in order. So we go through, okay, 38, 44, 65, 82, 88, and 104. Now the range, we gotta take big minus small. So 104 minus 38. Okay, we've got to borrow. 14 minus eight is going to be six. Nine minus three is going to be six. So our range is 66. Now quartiles, first thing you have to do to find your quartiles is find the median. One, two, one, two, we have 65 and 82 in the middle, so our median, we're going to do 82 plus 65, that's 7, 14, 147, divide by 2. Now I'm dividing by 2 because there's two numbers that I want to find the middle of. You have to find the average. So 2 goes into 14 7 times, 2 goes into 7 3 times. And now 2 will go into 10 five times. So our median is going to be 73.5. Now we can go over here and look at this half. And um, we're going to see that 44 is in the middle. So that's Q1. Q1 is 44. Now we're going to look at the upper half of the data. The median there is 88, so Q3 is 88. Now our next part that we're going to look at is the interquartile range. That is Q3 minus Q1, so 88 minus 44. Okay. It's going to be 44. So IQR is 44. Now for the outliers, we're going to take the IQR and multiply it by 1.5. So 5 times 4, that's 20. 22 here. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 0, 6, 6, and there we go. So we're looking for anything that is 66 below Q1 or 66 above Q3. So we take 44 and subtract off 66. Well, that's going to be negative 22. Do we have any data that's negative 22? No. So there's not going to be any lower outliers. Now we will take 88 which is Q3, and we will add on 66. 8 and 6, that's 14. 8 and 6, that's 14 plus 1. That's 15. 154. Do we have anything greater than 154? No. So there are no outliers. Okay, so looking at all the data from the world, They've got a range of 66, so between the smallest and the largest number is 66. 
25% of the numbers are 44 below, 25% are 88 or above, and um, halfway in the middle is 73.5. Between the two quartiles, there's 44, and then we don't have any outliers because we took the interquartile range, multiplied by one and a half, subtracted that from Q1, added it to Q3, and nothing was below this number or above that number, so no outliers. Okay, be prepared to work one of these problems in class when you see me, because that will be your pass to get your homework. See you tomorrow.